Columbia hired two people to test gear in the most extreme conditions on Earth. These are those people. The Directors of Toughness. Very special delivery <laughs> from Gert. Directors of Toughness, you might think you're due a vacation after Argentina and Colombia, but I disagree. It's time to get back to work. <laughs> this time, it's competition on the high seas. Which one of you had the guts to catch the most fish? It's me against you. Looks like a showdown. We'll pick this all up at the dock tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Don't be a minute late. I'm George Poveromo host of George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing on NBC Sports. Here's the drill, two days of fishing competition for Mark and Faith. We're going to combine points for offshore species as well as bottom fishing species to keep everything interesting. Sailfish, the most prestigious game fish off Miami this time of the year, 100 points. Outside of that, every other species, one point per pound with the exception of mutton snappers, five points per pound, and cobia, two points per pound. There's some species we won't get points for because they're so prominent. Examples being barracuda, bonita, and sharks. My crew is amazing. I've got these awesome ladies that have a fishing club called Ladies Let's Go Fishing. They just seem really excited. They love what they do and they're ready to teach. We're getting ready to start fishing. I think we're pretty pumped about the competition aspect of it. And um, yeah, just got my first ever lines out, so I'm pretty excited. We're fishing with balloons today. Um, we've also got one weighted line and one flat line. Feeling good, yeah, yeah, feeling good. Just showing me how to bait up, just showing me how the, the kite's working and stuff like that. I feel like we've got this kind of covered, but I also think that Lee, who is the captain of Faith's boat, she, she kind of knows her stuff as well, so. Got the fish on. It's way, 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 way back. So, try to bring it in. Come on, keep reeling, Faith. You got it. Okay, Faith. Good job. Dolphin fish, mahi mahi. Yeah, we got another one on. Faith is doing great. She looks like a pro. We got ourselves a tuna. This is really fun. So, feel pretty good. Everybody's busy. We had fish flying around everywhere and we're in the hot sun all day and it's good that the clothes dry quickly so you don't have to worry about that either. Here we go. Yeah, we're catching bonita at the moment. We can't eat those but we can use those for bait. Uh, wasn't exactly what we were looking for, but they're probably three fish ahead of what the other boat's doing right I now. So, hello, Lee. How are you? What are you guys doing? Well, we hit uh, basically a triple header of bonita, and uh, we got the excitement going. Mark says it's a good time to check up with your boat and to see what's going on over there. Oh, okay. Well, we had uh, four black fins and a mahi. Oh, four black and some mahi. You know what? We should have never made this call to check up on you. <laughs> All right. Well, we, we got egg on our face from that phone call, so we'll check with you later once we get some better catches on this boat. That phone call was quite embarrassing, so we're going to rebate and get back out again and try and catch some fish and maybe not be so arrogant next time. <laughs> I think we're just out here having fun, having a good day. Our strategy is dinner. <laughs> That's our strategy. And so far, dinner is looking pretty good. It was a tough day off Miami, mainly because we didn't have a northbound current. And we don't have a northbound current, it really shuts down a lot of the fishing. Tomorrow is another day, and we have some catching up to do, but things turn around fast out here. We just, uh, just set back out on day two and we've got some making up to do. We set out again uh, to the same water we were in yesterday and literally had no luck at all again. We're going to make a run down south. 
uh, hopefully find some better current, and we also have some bottom spots. We might shift gears and drop a couple baits deep. George, fish on. Well, we've been here two minutes and we're on the bottom and we've got a little bump bump on the rod. Five points is five points, boys. We've been out for probably about an hour, but no luck so far today. We've moved around quite a bit. Right now we're drifting over a wreck, and it's basically a haven for bait fish and game fish. Looks like we got another little mutton on here. Ooh, we got a big mutton. Nice mutton snapper. They just caught a mutton snapper on the other boat. So that puts them in the lead, it's a little bit frustrating. It's like a one fish game right now, so one fish would be awesome. We're gonna do the best we can to see if we can catch just one big one today. Mark's hooked up again. Certainly he's got the, uh, the magic touch here. It's running. Nice and easy, easy, slow it down a little bit. There you go. I wasn't sure at one point whether the fish was going to win this fight. I was so tired, I was having to change hands. I almost had to give the rod to somebody else. This was definitely a, a tough experience. Coming up, coming up. Big call to you. Whoa, baby! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, you don't you realize what you just caught? Alright, man. Excellent catch. 35 pound cobia. There he is. Woo! It is three o'clock. We gotta give up. We gotta oh bring in the lines. We're so sad about it. <laughs> I still think I had it, the best team. <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> we, do, we do too. <laughs> I had a lot of fun and you know, I can't always pull out a win. That's life. So I just had a great time and I'm always down for a rematch. In the end, the difference between the two boats had been that one big catch. It's a little bit of redemption from losing the last competition we had in Iceland, and I'm feeling pretty good about the victory right now. Faith, Mark, here we are at the end of the second final day of competition. Because you won, you will receive a bottle of Papa's Pilar rum. So I want you to enjoy that. We'll share it, Captain. Don't twist my arm, I'll be there. <laughs> and Faith, I even hate doing this, but I want you to consider this an honor. If you haven't guessed by now, your prize is you get a wash. I have an idea. The Mark VI. Really, the winner of it all is not you or you, but me. It was an honor, and my crew's honor to spend two days to really meet two terrific people. We need to do this again. Heck with the competition. Let's go out as friends and just have a good time. Absolutely. Thank you, absolutely Thank wonderful you so and everything that you Thank did. You. Thank you very much for having us. You got it. Thanks Thank you. Rum. Let's drink some rum and let's get that boat washed. <laughs> exactly. Hey guys, Mark and Faith here. Deep sea fishing is no walk in the park. To see the gear that kept us cool and protected while we were out on the boats all day, click here or here. Fishing requires healthy oceans. Click here to join us on our coastal cleanup with Florida Sea Grant. Hit the subscribe button now to join us on our next adventure.